All right, it's Minnie at my door. That's fine. I have black magic. And I need to get blue to 40 and black to 35. Okay. So we can do like a black and then blue the rest of the week. We'll get a little bit closer. All right, exactly at 35. Perfecto. Okay. Hello, Ellen. Trying to make plays while I'm on Sweet Manuel's route. Uh, let's see. I'll cast Darkness. My spell and Luke's go off at the same time. His leaves a black mark on my cape, mine surrounds him with a pillar of impenetrable darkness. When the second chime sounds, he can't tag me again because he can't see me to target me. Okay. It does kind of work. Uh, hello? Oh! Right. Jacob, put Mr. Arius down! Manuel? I look over to see Jacob holding the smaller boy over his head, his arms stretched straight up. Manuel's face is turning red. Jacob! Leave poor Manuel alone! At Potsdam's admonishment, Jacob switches his grip and lowers the toe to the ground. Uh, oh yeah, I remember your voice now. See, moving someone around distracts them from casting spells. Mm. That is true. However, you are meant to be using magic. This is dueling practice, not a wrestling lesson. Did you put poor Manuel up and just hang him? Jacob! I know he beat you out for treasure, but this is... this is petty. Professor Von Brew doesn't teach wrestling. Besides, I was using magic. I boosted my strength. I suppose that counts for something. Are you all right, Poplet? Yes, ma'am. Jacob, please don't grab other students without their permission. Yes, ma'am. After all, if you tackle the beast with bigger claws, you might come to regret it. I think that was a slightly veiled threat. She sweeps away. You okay? I want another shot. Looks like they're still dueling. Luckily, there are no major accidents for the rest of the session. Aw, oh, poor Manuel. What a fighter, though. He's like, no, I'm gonna keep keep going. Such a good boy. <laughs> Manuel, don't give up. I believe in you. Um, okay, I'm gonna study with Minnie. Yes, I will definitely do candles with you. For today's club meeting, Balthazar has called us not to the forest, but to the cafeteria. One table has been covered over with newspaper and topped with an assortment of different mushrooms. Some round, some long and skinny, some twisted into eldritch shapes. Another table holds various equipment. Mirrors, magnifying glasses, a round display of wool dyed different colors, and papers marked with radiating patterns. Today we will be discussing how to categorize mushrooms, looking at different caps, stems, gills, and spores. Now, because these are some I prepared earlier, we are missing a trick for identification. You have to look at where it's growing. If it's on the ground, is there just one? Or a row? Or a ring? Is it growing on dead wood? Or dung? Or a tree? There are thousands of species of mushroom, but we only have time for the first 70. This could be a long day. We split up into groups and discuss the different mushroom specimens, comparing them to the pictures shown in books. Suki draws pictures of the different mushrooms we identify, Though she adds strange details like wings or eyes to some of the sketches. I thought Suki would be a really good candidate for this club. 
I'm sad I missed out on that when I was on her route, but I guess I was spending so much time with Manuel here anyway, so it's just as well. But I was, I was just thinking, man, Suki would get along really well in this club. When we're done, the kitchen cooks up a few of the mushrooms we've hopefully identified as safe and allows us to taste them. They're delicious and no one dies of poisoning, so a good job all around. Huzzah for everyone. Let's read about the mushrooms. Um... We didn't write about poor Manuel! Franco. Disappointed again. The Nature Club met in the cafeteria to discuss the techniques of mushroom identification. Alright, that's all you really need to know. Announcement. Ah, from... Really? You're kidding. Nani? I dumped Damien. And he's trying to get me together with William? Well, at least he's actually trying to do the whole uh, get his revenge thing this time, but I... I don't know if I can invite Manuel. No, I can't. In that case, I just won't go. No point in it. Let's see, gotta get blue to 40, so we'll just continue that this week. We might get to 40 by the end. Depends how well we do in class. If we fail every day, obviously we're not gonna make it. <sighs> Ooh, a two. It's a good start. All right, time for candles. Okay, so we're doing candles again. But Manuel wasn't there. Okay, I thought maybe Manuel would be there, but no such luck. I find myself standing in a stone corridor. The exit from this dungeon has been hidden. Choose your path carefully. Be cautious, soul is not as it seems. Him. Okay. So, what do we got? We have True Sight. Nothing. Try it again. Ah. Here we are. Trigger. Perfecto. And we'll go ahead one and do True Sight. Nothing. Should be around here. Yep. Wherever you see this kind of wall, usually there's another wall that's an illusion nearby. It seems to be. I make my way up to the surface, blinking a bit of the sunlight. Congratulations, Franco! For succeeding in your quest, you receive five merits. I hope you enjoyed putting your skills into practice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another student to look after. Well, that's done. Getting all them sweet merits. Uh, you alright, girl? I'm gonna check on ya. And I'm gonna study. I'm gonna wait till I get at least $50. And then we'll, uh... Maybe go to the mall and get a wand. 41, huh? Perfect, okay, we can do black. We'll do a couple blacks, and then our next spell will be black and red. We'll work on red when we get back from break. I like it here, man. All kinds of cute people. It's great. I am thankful for making friends like Grabby, my surrogate dad. <laughs> uh, I'll ask you about books. Why not? Yeah, it was restful. Thanks, Donald. Alright, so no manual there. That's fine. We'll just continue on. It's almost time for our Christmas spell. So red, I believe. Black 55, red 25. We'll do that, 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 that. There we go. Let's 
sympathy for Ellen. All that sweet sympathy. All right, there's William. Need a couple more weeks, so we're gonna study with Minnie. And those girls are up to no good. Pastel's next, so that should be fun. <laughs> Just saying Pastel, I'm like, oh yeah, that's gonna be coming up soon. Sooner than you think. Alright, learn a red spell. Help the bean that is Luke. Jealous Lukey. And already another exam. Let's go. Cat time. The dungeon takes shape around me. To pass this test, you must reach the exit safely. But be warned, you are not alone. Him. <laughs> Yes, I'm not alone at all. I can teleport myself. Could do that old fun and games with Mr. Cat. Might as well. It does seem too dumb to be able to actually come and find me after as long as I'm quiet. Silence, right? Disruption. Inspection, open. It's not close spell. Okay, buddy. We're gonna try this, you and me. If I do get detention, it's not the end of the world. Alright. Well, let's see if this works. Teleport. Is that going to be all my mana? Basically. Uh, whoop. Okay, where's my silence? Silence on the gate. I don't know if this is necessary, but sometimes the cat does hear you. When you flip the switch, and then he's right behind you. And I'd rather not have that. There we go, we both live this time. I make my way up to the surface, blinking a bit at the sunlight. Congratulations, Franco! For succeeding in your quest, you receive five merits. And another five merits for achieving your goal without violence or injury. I hope you enjoyed putting your skills into practice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another student to look after. Despite the bright sunshine, the wind is quite cold. I hurry to get inside. Alright, another lucky Friday the 13th under our belt. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Manuel. Manuel, tell me about the snow. I wake up on Saturday morning when someone knocks on my door. Hello. He hands me an envelope containing my allowance. I'm here as class treasurer to tell you that all vans to the mall today are cancelled. Why is that? Well, it's snowing. I look out the window at the fat fluffy flakes falling. Do malls close when it snows? The roads are too dangerous for the vans. It can't be that bad, can it? Driving always looks so easy. Does that mean the Secret Santa event is cancelled too? I don't know yet. When I find out, I'll tell you. Thanks. He goes on to the next door. What should I do today? He didn't say anything about the dungeons, so I assume they're still open. We just had an exam, though, so that's not urgent. I suppose I could take the day to relax. Let's see, 23? Yeah, let's relax. It'll be worth it. Why not? Hello, Ellen. Nothing. Nothing going on there. Alright. We'll just keep on, then. Okay, time to make... Card. What? Okay. 
Um... Oh, it's new! I see! Okay, I'm like... I've done this before, haven't I? No. There is a manual scene. Of course, it doesn't take that long to make a single card, even if you put extra effort into it. Soon, most people are goofing around, socializing with their friends, and throwing crumpled up paper at each other. And then there's Manuel, who is surrounded by stacks of material and shows no sign of slowing down. It looks like he has several cards complete and propped open to dry. Is he planning to bind them all together into a book? Coming closer, I can hear him humming faintly as he works. That must be a very special card. What? Oh, hi, Franco. I know we're only secret Santa for one person, but it's a shame to waste all these supplies. So I'm making lots of cards. He wiggles in place. You are too pure. My goodness. That's nice of you. Who are you making cards for? All the freshman toads and snakes. And the professors. Should I make you one? If you want to. Maybe I should make a few more cards myself. Do you mind if I sit and work with you? Please do. The extra cards will have to be a little generic, but they can still spread goodwill. <laughs> Since Manuel's mother is an artist, I wondered if he might do something very detailed or complicated, but his cards don't look much different from the ones everyone else is making, other than there being more of them. No, that's not quite true. He's much more careful in the way he's working. Every snip of the scissors just so, glue smooth and even, leftover trim neatly stacked aside. He also likes to cut out extra hearts, leaves, and flowers from plain colored paper to brush with glitter and attach to the card edges. After some time working, he looks up at me. Here, this one is for you. Feliz Navidad. It's a picture of a hanging lantern surrounded by oak leaves and mushrooms. That's very thoughtful. Thank you. His fluffy tail waves back and forth. Let it dry first, though. Right. I still have to finish yours. You don't have to. I mean, you're already being nice to me, sharing with me. You don't have to make me a card. A gift deserves a gift. My honor demands it. Oh. Well, I don't want to dishonor you. What should I use to decorate Manuel's card? I'm sure he'll be happy whatever I choose. Ooh. Forest and nature or candles and cookies? Does he like cookies? Candles, it was just because we talked about candles. Candles. Let's try both. Let's try candles and cookies first and then forests and nature. Manuel looks pretty excited about Christmas, so I find magazine pictures of holiday parties filled with pretty candles and brightly colored cookies. When I finally give him his card, his tail thumps the floor. Okay. And... If I did for us. Manuel's in the nature club with me, and I know he appreciates the wilderness, so I find some pretty pictures of the forest. Okay. Either way, his tail thumps the floor. That's pretty cute. Oh, right, because we made extra cards. That's cute. Oh, here's one for you, too. I'm not your secret Santa, but I made a few extra for my friends. Thanks! I can distribute the rest as I go along. Overall, it's been a fun day. Who else did you make cards for, I wonder? Manuel's a darling to think about other people like that. It's so cute. Okay, red, black, red, black, done. <laughs> Fire. That's fine. It's fair. Maybe. This time. I'll go with ya. Alright. Manuel, it's time. What is he gonna think of us? 
For some reason, my thoughts wandered to Manuel. We're friendly, but we don't know each other very well. Still, he's one of the nicest people I've met at this school. He always has a smile on offer and never holds a grudge. I'm sure he has a lot of friends he'll think of first. And then in my mind, I feel a flicker of warmth and a gentle nudge, like a dog nosing my hand for attention. Stop. Was he thinking of me? No, oh, it was just some random puppy. Of course it was Manuel. Manuel, he's here after our break. Franco? I was right, you're back. Did you have a good Christmas? Sure, pretty good. Did you have a really big tree with lots of ornaments in your house? Actually, Christmas isn't such a major holiday in my country. There are some trees decorated in the towns for people to gather around, but it's not like in America. For us, the real celebration is New Year's Eve. That is when we have our feasts and fireworks and gifts. What about you? Did you decorate your home with flashing lights and glitter? Actually, we don't celebrate Christmas either. Linda says it's too commercial. She says everyone's pressured to buy things they don't even want, and will just throw away afterwards. Doesn't your mother run a store selling crafts and ornaments? And we make a lot of sales in December, and it drives her crazy. So I was never allowed to have any Christmas decorations or even candy canes. Did you want to? Well, it's silly. And she's right. All that tinsel, nobody wants it after December. It ends up in the discount bins at stores. We should go to the stores this weekend, then. What? I want to see what's in these discount bins. I told you, it's different in my country. This is part of America. I want to see what it's like. They might have thrown it all away by now, but we can look. Saturday, then. First, we need to get ready to go back to class. Man, we're just back and we've already got a dato planned. That is so nice. But first, when we thought of each other, it was a connection. Which means he was here. Christmas leftovers. Manuel doesn't celebrate the holidays at home because his mother considers Christmas a waste that makes people buy things they'll throw away afterwards, like decorations. I'm curious to see what happens to the leftover Christmas items in American stores. I will have 50 bucks next week, so if we have time left over, I could go sh shopping for myself. Potentially. Okay, we're almost there. If we do black and then red, 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 and a black, that should get us the next one. Okay. Now I won't have enough money. Unless I win. I didn't win. I'm supposed to be going to the mall with Manuel today. I should go and find him. And so we did. We arrive at the mall and look around, but it soon becomes clear that Manuel was correct in his earlier warning. Between Christmas and New Year's, all the Christmas goods are still in the shops, and they're about half off. Some people have their Christmas parties a little bit late, so they buy out the candy and the little Santa hats. Then, for about another week, what's left is slashed very cheap. That's mostly tacky light-up reindeer no one wanted. Tacky? Um, bad taste? Vulgar? Gaudy? Christmas decorations are supposed to be bright, but sometimes the red and green go too far and are just ugly. Things so hideous that people won't even buy them to be ironic. Those are the last to go. Twelve days after Christmas, they take whatever hasn't sold and box it up in warehouses for next year. All the trees have been hauled away. By now, no one wants to think about Christmas anymore. That's too bad. I would love to see what sort of decorations are so vulgar that the Americans reject them. <laughs> nice. 
We keep looking around just in case some storekeeper has been slow in setting up the fresh new year displays. Hey. Franco? Yes? Is everyone okay on Wolf Hall? Sure, as far as I know. So everyone's still there? Still there? What are you talking about? Samuel didn't come back after the break. He lived next door to me. I never knew he was having problems at school. He was your hallmate. We try not to bother each other in Toad Hall. Most of us prefer being alone a lot. Who is your roommate anyway? Tyrannus. Ah, uh, my apologies. My sympathies, I mean. Oh. Being alone is probably safer than being too close. I hate to think that Samuel was sad here. I thought he loved being a wizard. Well, we don't always know everything that's happening inside other people's heads. I do wonder sometimes, though. Are you lonely? What? If everyone on Toad Hall mostly keeps to themselves, are you lonely? Manuel's so nice. I had thought he must have lots of friends. But are the toads are loners? N no I'm fine. I like my space. So do I, but I also like talking to people. I enjoy having a room to myself, but I'm glad Luke and Donald are nearby. I talk to people. I'm on the student council with Minnie. We have a lot of work to do. That's right, he's the freshman class treasurer. My parents wanted me to be involved with the student council. But that's not why I came to America. I didn't want the extra responsibility. Yeah. Hey, let's look in that shop. They have some craft supplies. Sure. We go inside to look around and Manuel skips ahead to a large white plastic drum labeled 85% off. He plunges his entire head into the tube, digging through the contents I can't s into the contents. I can't see what's in there with his robe in the way, but something must have gotten his attention. Aha! He surfaces, holding up a spool of velvety blue ribbon with gold trim. Isn't it pretty? Aren't those falcon colors not Christmas? I like it. I can make ornaments with it or something. You like making things, don't you? Doesn't everyone? He scampers out to the register to purchase his new treasure. I've never learned to make much of anything by hand. I wonder why, what his mother's store is like. At least Manuel seems to be having fun. Aww, such a sweet boy. I just keep saying it over and over, but he is such a sweet boy. Uh, let's see. Didn't win. Shopping with Manuel. Manuel and I went to the mall together to look for leftover Christmas discounts, but all he found was some shiny ribbon. He said that one of his hallmates didn't return to school after the holiday, and worried that some people might be sad but keep their problems to themselves until it was too late. Yeah, poor Samuel. One of the missing freshmen. Uh, let's see. We're, we are at the right amount of black, so now I just need to get red up to 25. Maybe? Well, after a good start, I might just make it. I have to work on another black and red one after this, ironically enough. Grand, okay. see. Uh, yeah. Let's go to the mall. Let's go to the magic shops. 50 bucks. Perfect. Inventory. Fancy wand. Now I'm smarter. Which means I'll have more mana to cast, which is good. Hello, Potsdam. Is it time for... Yeah, it's an exam today. That's fine. Did I get the... 
combo one. Yes, force wall. Okay. So now I gotta get red up to 50. My black doesn't have to get any higher for right now. Gotta get that fitty. Um, I'm ready. Ah, this one. I find myself in a corridor facing a carved stone arch with a dead-end wall behind it. There's no sign of a staircase. In order to leave this dungeon, you must step through the portal. Only the medallion will activate the portal. Think before you act. If that's the portal ahead of me, it must not be active. So where is the medallion? And as always, we gotta go over here to the left. Um, I don't have communicate. So I gotta hope I'm smart enough. To talk to the ghost wolf. And make friends. I hope you were friendly. If I talk to you again. That's fine. I can do Televoke. And then I can do Seal on the lava. And go across, examine the pedestal, take the medallion. Maybe cast Seal on the lava again. So I don't get burnt. I didn't get bit. So all in all, pretty good day. Whoops. But first, put the medallion in the slot. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're thinking with portals. When I can feel my feet again, I am standing in the school quad and I have to shield my eyes against the sunlight. Congratulations, Franco! For succeeding in your quest, you receive five merits. I'm glad to see you don't let your thoughts be restricted by simple traps and boxes. I hope you enjoyed putting your skills into practice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another student to look after. Looks like I'm finished for the day. I'm gonna have a fun time doing a fail all exams run. <laughs> Where I'm just getting detention after detention because I'm trying to get expelled. Should be entertaining to say the least. Okay, anything happen this week? Nope. Alright, well hopefully we'll have another nature club event soon. 